Welcome to a MicroFocus RPA demo for Citrix automation. In this video, we'll show how MicroFocus RPA can automate your Citrix environment. We'll cover how to record a Citrix application, edit the recording, i.e. the RPA activity, debug the activity, create an RPA workflow, debug the workflow, parameterize the activity and the workflow, validate the end-to-end -end scenario, deploy the project to RPA Central, and run it. Record a Citrix application. Create a new RPA project, folder structure, and RPA activity. Next, launch the Activity Designer to begin recording in advanced mode. Make sure the record and run settings are set correctly for the Citrix storefront URL and the browser you want to use. First, record the login process in Citrix storefront and select the Citrix app. For example, let's select Notepad. Switch to Insight Recording Mode. When interacting with applications through Citrix, the RPA robot will see bitmaps of the remote application or desktop. Create a simple text file, save it, and give it the same name as an existing file, so that you're prompted to overwrite this file and you can capture the dialogue interaction. Finally, record the exit step. Edit the recording. The recorded steps may not be in the desired order, or you may want to edit your recorded script. Add some wait steps. This way, you can make any changes in the activity designer before saving your work. Once you click the Save button in Activity Designer, the RPA activity will be immediately synchronized with the Workflow Designer. Now you'll see a graphical representation of your script. Debug the RPA activity in Activity Designer. Now that the RPA recording or activity is complete, validate it to make sure it's running correctly. Log out of the current Citrix storefront session and close your browser window. Click the Run button. Activity Designer runs all steps in the RPA activity and gives you a detailed report. What if you forgot to add a step? For example, you forgot to add a logout step. You can easily go back to add this step. Place your cursor at the end of your script and start a new recording. Done. Save and close Activity Designer.
Create an RPA workflow. Right-click on the folder name, select Add Flow, and give your flow a name. In the RPA Workflow Designer canvas, drag and drop your RPA activity. Connected to the success step, your workflow is ready to run. Debug the RPA workflow in Workflow Designer. Click on the Debug tab in the upper right corner of your Designer canvas and start the debugger. The workflow starts right away. A new browser window opens to the Citrix storefront URL. The RPA recorder runs all the recorded steps in the RPA activity while debugging in Workflow Designer. You'll see all actions performed on the screen. Success! The RPA workflow ran successfully. The debugger shows the status for each step in the RPA workflow with all the run details. Parameterize the RPA activity and the RPA workflow. This way, you can assign inputs that can be configured. Go to the Properties panel of the RPA activity, create username and password inputs. Now, assign these inputs in the RPA activity steps. Assigning inputs overrides the values captured during the initial recording. When the RPA activity is saved, the RPA workflow becomes invalid. This is because values must be assigned to the inputs you just created. Since these values are sensitive and related to the runtime configuration of the RPA workflow, use System Properties to store and reference them. Create a new System Properties file. Then, recreate the username and password properties. Make sure to mark the password as sensitive. Also, add any relevant descriptions for each property. To test the RPA workflow, assign temporary values. To avoid data exposure, don't keep any sensitive information in your system properties. Once you're done with authoring and testing, remove any sensitive information. Now, you're ready to reference the system properties keys in your RPA activity inputs. Debug the RPA workflow one last time to make sure the workflow works with all the parameterized inputs and system properties references. This is the final step for authoring your RPA activity and workflow. Then, you can deploy your project to the orchestration environment. The run was successful. Time to deploy. Deploy your RPA project to RPA Central. Select your project, click on the Create Content Pack button, select the Deploy as Content Pack to RPA Central option. Enter the RPA Central URL, username, and password. It's also a good idea to change the Content Pack version if you've already deployed a version of the same Content Pack, just to keep track of your versions. After the project is deployed, switch to RPA Central and check your newly deployed content pack. Run the RPA workflow in RPA Central. First, 
configure the Citrix credentials in the project's system properties. This time, you only need to specify a password, which was left blank before you deployed your project. You can also override the username if you need to. Plus, you can choose what roles have access to view and run system properties. Now, start the RPA workflow. Navigate to the Run Management tab. Select the Flow Launcher panel. Select the RPA workflow and click Run. When running in RPA Central, RPA activities inside RPA workflows are handled by RPA robots. You can have multiple RPA robots to scale your workflow capacity. Your workflows can run at the same time, concurrently. Check the status of your runs in Run Explorer. Here, you can see a detailed report of all the steps inside your RPA workflows. Success! Your RPA workflow for Citrix automation is ready. Thanks for watching.